Welcome to episode number 32 of Turning $100 into $1 million, the series where I risk a whopping $100 of my money in an attempt for your entertainment to turn it into $1 million. We do have another stock to look at in this episode. Unfortunately, we are back in the red with our F after the market took a little hit today. But we will look at the profit and loss stats here. So we have our F, which is now 2.85% in the red or 62 cents held back. The GLY 1958 down or 21.55 percent, and then Levi is only down now a buck, so we're inching closer or 3.83 percent down. Viacom still positive as always for the last several episodes at 61.45 percent or 9.34 in the green. OXLC 680 in the red or 17.07 and as always if you would like some free stock you can use my link down below in the description to get your first two free stocks free on me one of them valued up to fourteen hundred dollars when you use my link down below in the description go ahead and sign up with webull rf down a little bit today seven cents and then after i was ticked up one cent five day chart pretty red one month looking red six months also looking red so it's consolidating right now. It's trading sideways. No upswings that are hopeful just yet. It's not as low as it was early July, where it was 9 and change, but still just basically stagnant in 10 and change. No drastic movements yet. DGLY more red, but still, still holding strong in the 3 and change. It does not want to go to $2. So I do think that there is some strength here. This is not terrible, as you can see. Right when it did hit two and change, it bounced all the way back up, almost soaring through four dollars. So the stock is staying strong. It's not like the other pieces of garbage that we have covered in other videos. There is still hope for this stock, and it's police, it's police equipment, which is obviously a hot thing right now. So I am still hopeful for DGLY. Levi stock, great day today, 39 cents up or 3.20%. And the five-day chart is looking beautiful. At one point, it did dip below 12 in the afternoon on Wednesday. But then it soared all the way through 12. And then it took a little drop here, but it soared all the way back up again. It could be hitting 13 very soon, like it was earlier this month. But good day today. I'm satisfied. Viacom, it was positive at one point, as it did touch above and hit almost 25 bucks. But then it came all the way down. Did not want to go to 25. It was at 25 just days ago. I'm surprised it did not want to go through 25, but I guess that's the level it's testing right now. Six months though, if you ignore the virus, there's a pretty nice uptrend here. This is a pretty good pattern. I like it. And OXLC basically break even today, up three cents, down a cent after hours. Five days is in the green, barely, just barely. One month six months and so hopefully this bottom right here will never see this territory again hopefully it will only be up from here upwards and onwards and this is a very interesting stock that we have to look at in today's episode something very interesting is going on with Kodak Kodak stock now this stock everyone would never think to touch it this is an unfortunate story of just how its entire lifetime it only knew to go down. There was no hope for this stock. Total, total downtrend. And everyone said and collectively, unanimously agreed to never touch this stock. And this is something you would not want to invest in. Now, all of a sudden, people are saying, buy Kodak, buy Kodak. This is it, buy Kodak. So, what is going on right here? Well, let's just look at the one month chart where you could see for the longest time, two and change, even six months. And then it got even worse with the virus when it even went into one and change, a cheap, cheap penny stock. Took a little bounce back up, but it, nothing significant. You know, it was the same exact territory that it was right before the virus. It didn't even have much growth at all. And this is the whole year chart. We're talking all the way from this day of last year. And then if you can see, it's basically the same exact price it was a year ago. But what has happened? And just these last five days, what happened on Tuesday? How did it shoot up so fast and go up almost 300% as of right now? But 300% if you include where it was before. What is going on? Well, it has to do with Kodak announcing and manufacturing 
something having to do with the virus. So let's take a look at what's going on right now with Kodak because this is an insane story. So first we have this one from MarketWatch. Kodak stock triples as company announces pandemic plan to start making pharmaceutical ingredients. The Trump administration's $765 million loan to the Eastman Kodak Company for its launch of a business making pharmaceutical ingredients sent shares of the iconic camera company soaring. Kodak stock, this was written on the 28th, rallied more than 200% on Tuesday after the news was announced by the Trump administration. The company emerged from a 2011 bankruptcy in 2013, and its shares tumbled from a 10-year high of 37.20 on January 9, 2014 to a low of 155 on March 23rd of this year. It was basically the low of the virus as far as the stock market. Kodak, which has a long history of manufacturing chemicals using photographic film, now plans to support America's self-sufficiency in producing the key pharmaceutical ingredients we need to keep our citizens safe, Kodak's executive chairman, Jim Contaneza, said in the statement. So the Trump administration said that the Kodak deal is the first of its kind, uses powers afforded by the Defense Production Act. The administration previously used these powers to demand that Ford Motor Company began manufacturing respirators and masks that the General Motors Company make ventilators. So another one explaining that deal with the Trump administration and invoking that Defense Production Act. Kodak soars another 60% after Trump announces deal to manufacture generic drug ingredients. So once again, the company soared on Tuesday after the president announced a deal to work with the photography pioneer to produce ingredients in generic drugs in response to the pandemic. Shares of the company soared more than 60% in extended trading. The stock more than tripled during Tuesday's regular trading for its best day ever after the U.S. government awarded the company a $765 million loan to start producing the ingredients first of its kind. The Trump said, Our 33rd use of the Defense Production Act will mobilize Kodak to make generic active pharmaceutical ingredients. We will bring back our jobs and we will make America the world's premier medical manufacturer and supplier. But you do have to wonder, is there more to go? Well, if you look at the max chart, there really is no limit here because it was in the 30s at one point. This wasn't too, too long ago. It's not like it was two decades ago. This at one point was in the 30s just six years ago. So how far can this stock go? And do you think you should invest in this stock right now? Because if this is true, Kodak could very well produce the drugs and chemicals needed to perhaps be then put toward a vaccine or treatments for the virus. Perhaps other big pharmaceutical companies could acquire these chemicals and drugs that Kodak can produce. No dividend. The market cap is only about $350 million, which in many people's eyes is still considered a penny stock. There's definitely risk here, but then look what it did after hours. It shot up another, about 530, going all the way to 1321. This deal with the US government could mean wonders for this stock. So would you buy Kodak? Let me know down below in the comments. Would you buy this stock? Let me know down below. I'm curious what your views are on this stock. Net account value is even lower from the last episode. It stands at 178.37. Well, hopefully RF will be back in the green as it's basically toggling back and forth between green, red, green, red. Looking like Christmas lights over here. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos from my channel, I do post videos every single week. So you don't want to miss any, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. So you're notified every single time I make a new video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.